am hair plopping for this Whisper Talk book review. It's been so long since I have, but here we are. But I am coming here with a book review of the seventh book I've read this year. Let me show you what it was. The Unremembered Girl by Eliza Maxwell. I got this book in September, this past September. I remember because it was a few days before my husband lost his job. Um, I'm in a book group on the book face. <laughs> and every Wednesday they do like a wish list Wednesday and you post your list and promise to buy for somebody else and somebody will buy for you. So somebody from that group bought this for me and I bought something for them. And I can't even remember where I heard about this book, but it's been on my to read list for a while. It's from 2017. And I know that this book is contemporary in plot, but I don't know really what year I missed it. There's no cell phones really. There might have been. Everything seems a little dated because it's a very rural part of town this story takes place in. It takes place in East Texas and our protagonist is named Henry and he lives with his terminally ill mother, his religiously fanatical stepfather, and he has a stepbrother who is a sheriff in the town and we learn that he also had a stepsister, the twin sister to his stepbrother, who um, passed away before the story starts. What makes this book happen is that this woman emerges from the forest in their backyard and she's obviously homeless she looks feral, acts feral, and doesn't even have a name. And Henry's mother takes her in, but it's Henry and this girl who later goes by Eve. Um, they have a connection. But once Eve is brought into the family, it sets forward a lot of catastrophic events that wouldn't have happened if she never came along into their lives. Okay, seems interesting. A thriller, mystery, not my usual genres, being historical fiction, um, but it interested me, it intrigued me. Um, um, yeah, I'm not sure about it. I gave it three stars. And the more I'm thinking about it, now I'm unsure. There is a lot of information missing. And I'm not talking that, you know, it was too mysterious. But you're just left with a lot of why type of questions. You know, what is driving everybody's decision? What is driving everyone's action? Why are they feeling the way they're feeling? Everything is so vague and not in a mysterious thriller vagueness. It's almost as if the author forgot to go into detail, you know? I'm sitting here going, why is Henry so infatuated with Eve? I don't get it. And then when I was reading some reviews on Goodreads, a lot of people didn't get it. You know, you can say Eve felt a connection for psychological abuse reasons, I don't know, but for Henry to give up so much for her, I don't get it. There were a lot of interesting backstories that could have been explored. We could have had some back and forth timelines. We could have had some big outbursts that um, explained what was going on and what went on. And that could have helped with understanding the whys of what people were doing, but we didn't get it. 
I just had to let my cat in, so you might hear her meowing right now. Why, hello, Java. You had to be a part of the book review. Yes. Okay. Back to the book. Um, I don't know. I just, I didn't understand why. And, um, sometimes there was some ick factors. I'm not talking about violence. There is descriptive violence. Um, and I guess I, that that's a trigger warning. Um, and there is talk about various things, which I'll flash up some words. Um, but it just, it left me unsettled and not in a good way. Um, it just left me wondering why. But on the flip side, I can totally see this being like a lifetime movie or like a special victims unit episode. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if you read this, I'd be curious to know what you thought of it. If you've read it, what did you think of it? Um, but I was disappointed and I think it, I think the author romanticized too much and was not realistic about the situation. This unknown girl who emerges from the forest. Aren't you supposed to alert authorities to this? And I mean, she has no birth certificate. She has no social security number and everybody accepts that this family took in this abandoned woman. I don't know. I just sat here going, would this fly? Could this have happened? That's why I was wondering what year it was. There's trucks. There's computers. There's walkie talkies. I don't know. It feels 90s, but I'm not sure in all honesty. Read at your own risk. But there were a couple quotes and I'm going to include them now. So until next time, happy reading. Bye.